While some people might fear the command line, at some point in our Linux using lives, you got to admit, we've opened up a terminal to install an app or update it, or maybe investigate the contents of a folder, find a specific file on the file system, or read the manual of a given command. While there's nothing wrong with the existing set of tools that Bash provides, some enterprising developers have gone out of their way to create enhanced versions of already existing commands. Old staples like cat, ls, find, grep, and many more commands have received minor tweaks or even major overhauls. They might include syntax highlighting, faster execution, ease of use, or maybe just provide more detailed information. These commands aren't included by default with most distros and must be installed through source or maybe through your system's package manager. Now, unless otherwise noted, most of these commands can be installed on Ubuntu using sudo apt install followed by the name of the command. And all of them can be installed on Arch or Manjaro via sudo pacman-s and then the name of the command. Let's take a look at a few of these commands ourselves and go over the benefits of each. The first one we're gonna take a look at is bat. As the description of their GitHub puts it, it's a cat clone with wings. The two primary benefits of bat over cat are the ability to add syntax highlighting for various programming languages and view the differences between commits when reading a file that was cloned from a repository. The command syntax is just like using cat. Just type bat followed by the name of the file you wanna view and it's that easy. Next up we have LSD. LSD is short for LS Deluxe or List Deluxe. And as you might've guessed, it's an enhanced version of LS with colors, tree views, icons, and the ability to add more formatting options. This can make your terminal prettier to say the least, but it also makes visually parsing information about files and folders faster and more accurate. The config file can be customized with different themes and a list of what gets displayed when running the command. Since it's not available in Ubuntu's repos, you'll have to download and install the .deb file from the releases page on their GitHub. Alternatively, you can install the package through Cargo, Rust's package manager. Cargo install LSD. Now, before we continue, do you believe in the work that we're doing here? Do you want to stay up to date with all the cool stuff that we're talking about? Hit that like button and don't forget to share this video with your friends. We've got to hit 5,000 likes on this video and we can't do it without your help. So thanks. All right, let's continue. Next up, we have Dust. Dust is designed to be a more intuitive version of DU or do. I'm going to say do from now on. Instead of presenting a long list of files and the amount of space that they take up on the drive, Dust compresses all of that data down into a nice bar graph, where you won't have to scroll down to see everything. Folders that take up more space will have a longer bar, and you can see both the percentage of how much space is consumed out of the entirety of the hard drive and the number of gigs it takes up. On Ubuntu-based distros, you can download the binary from the releases page, unzip the file, then move it over into usr slash local slash bin, this package can also be installed via cargo, cargo installed, do dash dust. Okay, next up, we're gonna talk about FD. If you've ever tried searching for a specific file with find, you might be annoyed that generally you have to type a lot of extra stuff just to make a basic search, like encapsulating search terms in quotes and asterisks, for example. For instance, if you wanna find the readme file within a folder, you could run find dash iname, and then in single quotes and in asterisks, readme. Now with FD, the syntax is a lot simpler. Using the same example, searching for a readme is as simple as FD readme. Not only does this reduce the amount of typing that you need to produce the same result, but FD also highlights the search term in the results, thus making it more clear to the user. The GitHub documentation for FD mentions that it's not quite as powerful as find, but it should be good enough for the majority of use cases. Install FD on Ubuntu with sudo apt install fd-find. Okay, next up is a command that I'm particularly excited about, TLDR. This is a great feature if you want a more brief and to the point explanation of various commands rather than using man. Furthermore, TLDR is good at giving some more practical use cases with each command and new users to the terminal won't be overwhelmed with an overload of information. And if you found a command that doesn't have a TLDR page, you can contribute to it pretty easily. Visit the contributing page on their GitHub, create a markdown file and submit it as a pull request. To install TLDR, regardless of whatever distro you're running, you can use npm install-g TLDR, or you can install it with pip3, pip3 install TLDR. All right, next up we have GTOP. Now, you might be familiar with HTOP, a CLI program that displays how much RAM and CPU is being used, but there are many different types of system monitors available for the terminal. But in this video, we're gonna talk about one alternative, GTOP. While there's nothing wrong with HTOP, 
GTOP, in my opinion, presents its system data in a cleaner and more colorful manner. The CPU category is presented as a line chart, which grows when the cores are being used and shrinks when they're not as busy, and each core is differentiated by color. This, along with memory, swap, networking, disk usage, and currently running processes are all divided by category and are listed in their own graphs. It's a great way of monitoring your system without using a GUI. To install GTOP, use npm install gtop-g. You can also install it as a snap on Ubuntu, snap install gtop. The commands that we've gone over here are just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, there are so many enhanced alternatives to older Unix commands, such as exa as a replacement for ls, duff over df, bottom as another system monitor, hyperfine for benchmarking, and ripgrep over grep. But that's it for this video. We wanted to just cover some of the uh, commands that piqued our interest. For a list of all the alternative commands available, check it out on GitHub with the link below. But I want to know what you think. What's your favorite alternative command? Sound off in the comments below. I want to give a heartfelt thanks to my friends who have helped support this show on Patreon and as YouTube members. It's because of you guys that we've been able to build this show into what it is today. So thank you. Do you want to help support this show and get cool perks like having your name in the end card here? Use the link below to become a patron or a YouTube member. It's all very much appreciated. But that's going to do it for now. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now and have a blessed day.